What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do a little something different. I got these uh, these jump packs. I got one for Mako, one, one is like an off-brand, pretty much the same thing. I, I'm not sure if you guys seen these before, but one of them is no good anymore. I keep charging it, it's not holding charge. I've had them for a while. Um, one of them's older than another, but the, the, actually the newer one is no good anymore. So I'm just gonna show you guys opening these things up. Uh, I got my buddy, one of them works at a, a battery place. He's gonna give me a battery down here. We're gonna crack this bad boy open, switch out the battery. Just kinda wanted to show you guys the process in that. Cause uh, we all know I don't wanna replace these. You know, these things, you probably get them used for 300 bucks. Brand new, these things, I think the Mako one me, ran me about 750 bucks. Um, the Mako one's still good use these things a lot but this is the one that's giving me problems it's it says it's charged but I go to see that showed zero I go to use it on a car and it just doesn't it doesn't hold a charge the battery is probably leaking inside there no good so I'm gonna set up the camera crack this thing open pull the battery out replace it with a new battery and uh, get clean it all up get it back together good as new kind of show you before and after process through it but uh check it out stay tuned That's all the screws. Cover comes off. There's a battery there. This is just like a car battery. Let's get this little fan off of here. Pull the fan off so I don't rip the wires. Back off. Still some screws in there. guys. Pretty much just a uh, 22 amp hour battery for 20 hours. Um, probably going to switch it out with a uh, 18 amp, probably the same, as long as the size is the same. I think he said he had some 18 amp hour batteries. Hey, it's better than spending another $500 or whatever or buying another used one or buying another one. I like to keep two at the shop. So pretty much just get, disconnect the ground. Make sure there's no melted wires, which looks pretty good. Looks like that was hitting on something there. Disconnect the power, pull the battery out, switch it out. Clean it all up, put it back together. Let me grab this battery. i restart, grab this battery. together then they'll go flying around and I know all that goes together there this one's brown 
outside's got a little corrosion on it. That could have been part of the problem. Yeah, look at all that corrosion, guys. You can see it. So I gotta get these all cleaned up before I hook them onto the new battery. So I'll just take a wire brush, clean them up. Got the new battery, Interstate. It's actually a, a 20 hour battery, same dimensions. The posts are a little different, so we're gonna see how we guys set this up. Probably sideways. All right, guys, so I got the negative side done. Switching over the power side. I'll put that through there. Get these small ones on here. We're going to see if this is going to close with these posts kind of facing the other way. This is the last battery. It was kind of a different post. The po po posts were facing down. These ones are kind of facing up. So I'm gonna clean all this up, pause it real quick, clean all this up, get it back together. All right guys, put this fan back on here. Got that all back together. Make sure you don't pinch the wire. Line it on up. Make sure everything lines up good. Looks like that's gonna close. Battery fit. Screw tight. Purple power, give it a quick clean up. Before I put the bottom on. Yep. 
this piece. Back up. All right, guys, so I got it all put back together. It's got voltage. There's the old one. I cleaned up the old, my other one too, the Mako one. The sticker actually came off when I was cleaning it up. Here's the old battery I pulled out of it. The 22 amp hour, I believe. Like I said, I got a 20 amp hour in there now. The post. The side post was able to work out in there. It did fit, it did close okay. So, get this thing back on the shelf. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work for another five years to come. But yeah, guys, I figure I'd just uh, do a little different one here, you know, rebuilding these jump packs. You know, sometimes it's not always about buying the new tool. You know, it's about, it's about saving that money and, you know, making do with what you have already. Or, you know, modifying that tool to get the job done. You know, there's been times where I've had to put two tools together in order to get a job done, or I've cut wrenches and welded them and things like that to get jobs done. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do to save money and, 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 and finish a job. But, uh, you know, these jump packs, for the cost of them, you know, I, I didn't want to rebuy another one. Um, you know, used on eBay, they still go for 250 bucks. They're decent little jump packs, you know, for 50 or 60 bucks, buy an interstate battery, open it up, switch it out. Hopefully this thing lasts me. So, but uh, as always, guys, subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. Share, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let, you know, let me know what you guys think of the video, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.